Hallo Jessica. Hallo. <laughs> Do you know what you want? <laughs> yeah, the same. <laughs> the same. Oh, you want the same. And we get a lot of uh, comments on the white hair uh, style, the color of your hair. So that's what we're going to show the people uh, on YouTube. How to create a wonderful cool hairstyle and a cool color. So we well, your turn for you and the rest of the world to show what you have now. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> on the land of YouTube. We're far beyond that. We're going to start with the protection. We're going, going to make almost the same hairstyle, just a little bit shorter. A lot of uh, texture in it, a lot of techniques. And afterwards it will be stunning cool silver blonde. So that's what we're going to do. Start by wetting the hair. It's a little bit of mohawk, but then uh, a very sophisticated mohawk. Not straight up with uh, shaven sides. It's just a nice mohawk. Okay, start by parting the hair, the upper hair, from the under hair. Straight down and make a nice moon shape to the neckline. We start with a clipper cut. Not ultra short, so that's why I used the comb to remain some length. And then you can see that her natural color is a uh, very deep color. It's around 4. Use my clipper as a comb. It's had a nice, strong but also feminine line out. Connect the back to the front. Can use my clipper as a comb. Created me a very, very soft feminine line. Same I do behind the ears. Contour line. Of course I do this with a small clipper. And now I'm not using my razor blade because uh, then I can get uh, irritation to the skin and that I don't want. I'm going to the other side. Okay. Again parting the upper hair from the under hair. Create the moon shape at the back. Also this side will be short, not too short. but. So do for most women very short. It's the straight same line as on the other side. Use my clipper as a comb again. Mm -hmm. 
just use the tip of my clipper and the angle where I hold my clipper in is very important to make soft lines you can clean the contour with a small clipper And now I'm really going to cut. I need to cut some length off. I will do this in the center and I do it also over the center line of the skull. So the center line of the skull is also the length of my hair. Do this in a freehand style. Find me the roundness of the skull. I love working in freehand style because that gives a lot more playable effect. Holding length at the back because a mark has a little bit length on the back. Laying the hair back. Now I start from the center line out with slice cutting to create some air into her hair. Just that you just with the tip of my scissor. But she has a lot of hair. Long was the banner we had. You better tell her. Do the same on the other side. First work my line to the center of her skull. Get over the roundings. Lay the hair back to the side. And also on this side I start with point cut technique in slice version, just the tip of my scissor. To have a lot of air in the mid section of this hair. And this will make it playable. Control it from the back. If my length are both sides the same length. To the back, I leave length at the front, but the section above her ear is a little bit shorter. Otherwise, all the hair comes together on this section, and then you have a thick mass of hair. Same I do on this side. Heb je zelf wat gegeten? Ja, ik heb ze al tussendoor wat gedaan. Anders val ik om. Ja, zeker als je de hele dag werkt, dan is dat toch wel zwaar. Ja, ik heb ze er altijd wel als je naar huis gaat komen. Ik heb soms slice techniques into the front. En dit is dat doen we in een curve shave. 
and also a little bit like a moon shape because then I get control of the hair to the back that I want. Same I do on this side. Curve my scissor to the back, I slice into the hair. Coming to the midsection at the back. Leaving length to the other sides because I love a little bit, a little bit more length in the neckline. Just playing with the hair. Now I take the hair up and I watch through, my, through the hair on the skull to see how the shape is. Just correct it a little bit. Put the hair back. Not too much off because then I get a problem with my style. And when I put the hair up now I get a nice fall of hair. Not too much. Nice thin. It's time to color. Okay, I made my bleach. My bleach is a simple bleach. It's a blue bleach. I start on the sides. Just bring it up. I put on the protection that's necessary to make a coloring. So a waterproof cape, plastic foil. And we're going to bleach the hair till it's Ultra Silver White. And the violet tone you see on it is uh, from Schwarzkopf. It's a fiery blonde. And this takes out all the yellow tones. This is the opposite color of yellow. Now I start on top. Lay the hair aside. And first do the outro. This I leave in for about 20-25 minutes till the outgrow is white and then I take the bleach to the ends of her hair. I don't need extra bleach. And that's what I'm going to do. And nobody's going to do anything about it. <laughs> I'm Darth Vader. I love blonde hair. <laughs> Girls with my fun. When am I get blow? <laughs> yeah, more. Yeah. Okay, I just rinsed out the the, the blonde blonde, and now I made myself uh, from Affinage Infinity a ten one one zero. It's a silver toner. And I made it in uh, 3%, so I put in the, uh, one part uh, color, one part conditioner and one part 6%, so it is 3 when I put it on. And it smells lovely. And this will illuminate all the warm colors that are still in. It gives a stable blonde tone. And I'll always do this with deep conditioner. Don't worry about developing of the color because the color is always developing in, in different shades. Leave it in. Don't wash it out. Close my plastic foil again. And then we'll wait for uh, 20 minutes. And then we're back. Okay, go back from coloring.
So now I just have to blow dry the hair. Now I'm going to use uh, Murphy, it's from Australia, and I use uh, the yellow one because I, I love the yellow tone. <laughs> no, but it is, it's a nice product, you can play with it a lot, and that's why I use it. Put it over the center line of hair, just play with the upper hair. brings a wonderful shine into the hair, but now I'm ready. And this is my new hairstyle and color for Jessica. Hey! <laughs> you may uh, show the world what it became at the end. And thank you for modeling for me again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't? <laughs>